An another question, uh, Mr. Nyman. There are currently 840 million people across the globe, no electricity, none right now, today. Uh, people who live in poor and developing nations want and need a stable energy supply to grow their economy, to improve their lives. Uh, energy is, I believe, a single critical tool to help countries alleviate poverty. The United States should be working to promote an all-of-the-above energy strategy. But the World Bank and many of the multilateral development banks are restricting lending for traditional energy projects. No modern economy can run on only renewable power, which we know is variable. A country needs continuous abundant energy to run a manufacturing plan, a, a data center, or a hospital. I mean, I think of some of my travel to Africa, we're talking to hospital staff, and their biggest issue is lack of power when it comes to you know, maternal death, but then the death of the baby as well during delivery. So, you know, I think these restrictions in the lending only exacerbates the global inequities of energy. In fact, all of Africa, with a population of 1.3 billion people, accounts for a little more than 3% of the total glo global electricity generation. If Africa tripled its electricity consumption based on only natural gas, it'd still be less than 1% of the annual global emissions footprint. So, so if, if you care about people in developing countries, and we all do, you know, we'd help to turn the lights on. So if confirmed, will you commit to ensuring that multilateral development banks are promoting all forms of energy projects across the globe, including oil, gas, and coal? Senator, the <clears throat> President and the Secretary uh, have both described uh, the, the climate change as an existential threat, and that's an assessment that I wholeheartedly agree with. I think the way to think of uh, uh, the cost um, in terms of you know, energy and uh, infrastructure that burns carbon, uh, emits carbon, is not just the cost today, uh, but also the cost uh, to the future. And so I think it's appropriate and important uh, for our efforts through the multilateral development banks on development financing per se uh, to, to, to emphasize um, uh, cleaner, um, you know, uh, uh, cleaner infrastructures that support our goals on climate change. Well, I'll take that as a direct attack against these people who are desperately looking for energy to survive today, because that's a decision. This administration, I know it's not your position, your, your, but it's the administration's position, which for the existence of those alive today in these communities, uh, you take a look at the number one cause of death, environmental death, it's household sm indoor smoke for cooking. Uh, period. No questions asked uh, that, that, is a, that that's the concern, and I believe that it's an affront to these people and an insult for the administration to have such a position. Uh, 